Hey guys, Matt here, and today we're going to be starting a series called The Smart House. In this series, we're going to be creating a smart house. So basically, this will be home automation with security and a bunch more stuff, which I'll get into later. But this smart home is going to be for everyone. It'll Any house, anywhere, it'll make it smart. So my mission statement is to help everyone get a technology advanced house and teach them about electronics. So I want to teach you if you're a new person coming into electronics and want a home automated house, then I, this is the place. I will be showing you every single product that will make your house smart. Now, these aren't products that you buy. We're going to actually make them. So we're going to put together, um, for example, a light switch controller out of an Arduino and a Wi-Fi controller and a relay. And I want everybody's house to be technology advanced I want it's the 21st century right now and everyone should have an advanced house just like in back to the future where it's all automated that's my goal that's where we should be and that's where I want us to be so what does the smart house do it can control light switches from your phone or any web browser based device it can control outlets measure the temperature of the pool because I have a pool and so we're going to make it turn on and off by using our phone and checking the temperature of the pool from our phone. Uh, we can also unlock and lock doors and which that ties into security. The house will be secure, your devices will be secure, overall the house will be secure. You can sequence events. So what that means is if then do this. So if a motion sensor is triggered then turn on a light here. And lastly, we're going to have voice control. So you can go, um, hey Siri, or you can go, okay Google, or we might even create our own, uh, hey, whatever. Um, so the skills that you're going to need, you're going to need soldering. This can be basic, they can be expert, whatever. As long as your soldering works and it makes joints, it's fine. You're also going to need some basic electronic component knowledge. So, for example, you're going to need to know what an LCD is, RFID reader is, what is a Arduino, what is a capacitor, what is a resistor, what's a relay. But if you don't know what they are, I will show you. Don't worry. As long as you just have some idea what they are, it's fine. You're also going to need some coding knowledge. Now, most of the coding will be done for you. I will provide all the code that I use in the episodes, which you can download and then modify to your liking. You're going to need some home electronic knowledge or electric knowledge so you're going to need to know your house electric now this is high voltage so you're going to have to take safety precautions which I will show you how to do and so you can follow along speaking of following along you're going to need to know how to read step-by-step -step instructions now this is pretty basic because I will be creating step-by-step -step written instructions as well as a video so you have two places to go and if none of those work then you can go ahead and contact me which I will show you how to do or leave a link on how to do that later. Now the components that we're going to be using to create this smart house is a Raspberry Pi which be, will be the server of the house. You're going to need a lot of Arduinos. All of the little um, components will be Arduino based. So for example, the light switch controller is going to use uh, Arduino Pro Micro and it's going to use an ESP8266 Wi-Fi adapter. Um, you're also going to need some sensors like a motion sensor, but I'll show you where to get those later. You're going to need some electronic tools such as a wire stripper, uh, soldering iron, solder, wire cutters, electrical tape, all that fun stuff and tablets. Now the tablets that I'm going to be using is our uh, Amazon Fire 7. These are $50 tablets and they're amazing for what we're going to do because all the tablet has to do is go on the internet and go to our website which is an internal website which will control all of the automation stuff in our house. Now security. In terms of software this system will be very secure and have password encrypted everywhere. And in terms of the house security, there will be motion sensors, door sensors, maybe cameras, I'm not sure. But we'll also get into network security, such as firewalls, um, what to modify in the router, uh, Wi-Fi protected uh, password, 
And we're also gonna get into computer security because I have this little project that I finished and it's called a RFID password box. So it's a box with passwords which use your RFID to authenticate, which is really cool, but we'll get into that in a different episode. Next, so you're probably wondering about the costs. Let me tell you right now, it's gonna be very affordable. And the reason it's gonna be affordable is because we're, I'm gonna buy all my parts from AliExpress. Now, if you don't know what AliExpress is, it's basically an Amazon for Chinese products. So all the parts we're gonna buy is directly from China. Now, there's a downside to doing that. It will take about two weeks to get here. Now, some of you I know are impatient and can't wait two weeks but let me tell you it's way worth the price like it's if we go back to the components the arduino uno which is in the left left box or the first product that is like two dollars and sixty cents and that's an insane price the wi-fi adapter is i think it's like a dollar eighty the arduino pro micro is three dollars and but the only thing that you can't buy off aliexpress is the raspberry pi and the reason you can't buy the raspberry pi off uh, aliexpress is because it's an american-based product and it has uh, uh, patents so you can't really buy that off aliexpress that's the one thing but now if you are impatient and you don't want to buy from aliexpress then you can go ahead and buy it from amazon but i won't be supplying amazon links i'll be supplying aliexpress links because that's exactly the products that i bought so if you want to do exactly what i'm doing click the links that i will be providing so finally after this series you will have an automated house and this will be a fully automated house so you can make any switch you want automated any outlet you want automated everything is at your control whatever you want you can do and you will also have a perfect network setup i'm a true believer in neatness and perfection so but not everything is perfect i know but our network setup will be perfect to suffice the house so i'll show you my network setup and to give you some ideas on how to do yours it will be security because you'll have your motion sensors and your software security and you will have technology advanced accessories such as the wi-fi adapter that i'm uh, not the Wi-Fi, the RFID password box that I mentioned that we will be creating, which I think is awesome, um, and more accessories to come. But overall, you will have a smart house, which is the overall end goal of this series. So if you're interested in following with this series, go ahead, subscribe. I will try to do an episode every two weeks to every three weeks. I don't really have time, I'm in school, but I really want to make this series work. So I'm going to try to put out videos as fast as possible. So if you're interested in any of this, subscribe to be notified.